Hey, it's Tom Gallagher, the video Videopreneur, and we're at Bill Thomas Campers in Wentzville, Missouri. There's a link below for new used service and parts, and check it out. A 2022 River Ranch 392 MB. This RV is amazing. I think you're going to be so impressed when you see the uh, basement. You can't wait to see the inside. Both of them are amazing. Very, very open. The uh, list price on this unit is $132,671. And it is a beast of an RV. I, I, think you, I hope you like it as much as I like it. This is the basement. So there are two basements, one on each side of the stairway into the RV. And uh, just amazing. They are insulated. The R value on this RV, the R value on the floor is an R38. The roof is R40 and the sidewalls are R11. R11 on the sidewalls, which is uh, pretty darn significant as we open up the back storage area. The unit is uh, open all the way across the bottom, as you can see, and it's so easy to access. If you have large lawn chairs, whatever you have, you can fit it in here. I'm sure of that. And as far as the uh, cargo capacity is concerned, it's 3155 as we get ready to step up inside. You can see the 392 MB badging as we step up the uh, multiple steps here into the RV. One of the unique things about having the steps like this is the RV, the living space is all on one level. As you uh, get in here, you'll, you'll notice as we peer around and take a look, just a very open and beautiful, in my opinion, beautiful RV as far as uh, the amenities and the appliances are very high end. I think you'll be impressed when you see them all. Love to hear your comments below. There's a control panel. That orange uh, sticker allows you to sync your phone with that so you can control the climate and you can control the lighting as well as the slides with your phone or with that touchpad. And as far as the amenities, sleeps six, five slides, hitch weight of 2455. We have a 12 gallon water heater and here's a pro tip when you get in go to the farthest faucet from your water heater and turn that on on the hot level and let it run until you get some hot water that way every faucet you turn on throughout your rv will be uh, hot water there's a jbl stereo system and you have a flat screen tv there's storage behind the flat screen tv as i turn on the led lights check out this oven you can fit a turkey and a ham in there it's easter so you can get uh, you can have both sides of the family happy four burner cooktop you also have a window above the cooktop a residential style and size microwave as we swing around and look at the center island really nice drawers and doors easy close and then check this sink out pro tip i try to mention it every time i see a cutting board only use one side of the cutting board for cutting my wife taught me that, and that way you keep your cutting board nice and clean and pristine like new. That's a drying rack on the left, and then there's a separate sink as well as another drying rack. Great for vegetables or if you're washing chicken, let it uh, drip dry in there. Uh, pat it dry as we swing around and look at the refrigerator. So we have a, a, a French door refrigerator so there's a uh, two doors on the top for the refrigerator and then the freezer is on the bottom as we pull the freezer out you get a good look at that really an impressive residential style and also has the the uh, water and the ice maker so it's it's exactly what you're looking for and as far as your tanks are concerned, I forgot to mention that the uh, tank capacity as we open up the office space, tanks are 75, 78, and 39. And check out this office space. You have a window with the curtains closed right now. You have LED lighting. You have a top bunk that you can lift up and secure out of the way. You have a fold-out couch. And then as I turn around, you have a planning center that also dubs, doubles as a workstation. And instead of drawers, you just have the cabinets. 
but it's perfect for someone working from a laptop. You can also have a, a flat screen TV on there on the wall, cabinet space above. But it's ideal for someone that's traveling and uh, doesn't want to do a lot of work, but does have to do some, maybe a Zoom call or two and uh, take care of some reports or a proposal or something like that. As we walk back out and take a look, peer around the family room, the kitchen, as well as your dining area, those those uh, gates close to prevent anyone from going down. You don't want Uncle Charlie to fall down the steps. As we start to head down the hallway, we stop and we look at additional cabinet space. So you have that corner 45 degree angle cabinet. And then you have this large uh, cabinet here, two door cabinet, and you can see it's easy close as well. And then a flip up door, which is easy close as well. So really a, a well thought out, well laid out RV and check out the bathroom rather large that's a 60 by 30 shower turn on a couple of lights here a 60 by 30 walk-in shower it does have a teak wood bench that you can fold down or fold up out of the way i personally really like the look of this surround i'm 6'3 and there's plenty of room in this shower and then we have the vanity as well as the medicine cabinet Just a, a sharp, sharp, clean, bright bathroom, in my opinion. As we head out of the bathroom and get ready to swing back around, we look outside. And speaking of outside, we have two awnings, 21-footer and a 15-footer with LED lighting. And we have an additional cabinet. Great place to store a couple of jackets. There's some hooks in there. And then we open up the door to go into the bedroom. And look how bright it is in here. That's a king size bed. And then when you have your bedspread light colored, your headboard, your walls, your furniture, all light in color. So it really uh, reflects the light. You have three large windows there. I'm turning on some lights to give additional light in here. Cabinets above the closet. Easy close, as you can see. And then I open up the, uh, the closet and you can see it's a great place for additional storage behind your hanging clothes. So you can put shoes or sweaters there, folded up sweaters. It's pre-wired, pre-plumbed for a stackable washer and dryer, or you can just leave it as a closet and there's a hanging rod in there. Uh, the furnace is a 40,000 BTU furnace. As I lift up, that's a memory foam mattress. And then you can see the uh, two additional kitchen table chairs, and there's plenty of room for additional storage. 8,000 pound axles, and the LP bottles are 30 pound bottles. Then you see there your uh, televator. So that's a 32 inch television and that's on a televator. So you can just put it down depending on your needs, your wants. If you want to watch TV in bed or from your bedroom, flip it on. There's a uh, sporting event you want to catch. Otherwise just leave it down all the time. Let the light in, let the uh, breeze go across. You don't need to watch TV all the time. Don't forget you're camping. As we head back out of the bedroom and head down the hallway, so here is a great, let me open this door again. Here's a great view. You can see the entire RV is on one level. You get that with the basement storage on the left and the right. So you don't have to go up and down. You do have the steps right here that you, uh, you get all your steps out of the way in one location. What do you think of this floor plan? What do you think of the colors? Leave a comment below. We appreciate you watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Consider subscribing. And we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks again.